Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to my page. I want to share with you something that happened to me. Earlier this week, I received a letter. I opened it up, and there was a cashier check with my name on it for over $2,800. I was like, man, this is great. And then I looked inside the envelope, and there was a letter with some instructions. I'm going to read part of it. This is the letterhead. Check it out. It says Walmart. So it appears to be legitimate. It says, go to the bank to have your check deposited. Okay. Then it says, we have a payment restriction on your check to prevent unauthorized cashing. A deposit into an active checking account is required for restrictions to be lifted. Get this. It says, email or send a text message to a telephone number as soon as deposit is made with a clear image of the direct deposit receipt for fundings to be made available to you. Hmm. Then it tells me that the funding will be available either as soon as possible or the next business day. Now, they want me to text from a Walmart parking lot. Now they're telling me what I can do and where I can go. If you do not receive a response within five or 10 minutes of texting us, continue with your assignment as is. Assignment change and or corrections are sometimes made before you begin. Now, the instruction, what they wanted me to do was to get five gift certificates for $500 from Walmart. Hmm. And then the rest of the money, the $350, they said would be mine. Now, the rest of it, it tells me this. At the bottom, it says, at the Walmart store, under no circumstances... Should you acknowledge that you are evaluating their service as that will defeat the purpose of the program? Some of the security questions that can trip you include if you are, are asking if you are a mysterious shopper, answer no. Ooh, so now they won't be in a lie. Okay, get this. While conducting a survey, always remember that you are, hmm, you're checking them out. If you have any questions while in the store, text us. They didn't say call. They said text or even email, which means there's a breakdown in communication. Or go outside to contact them. Do not attract attention to yourself. And then once again, it tells me. Please keep this, what, anonymous or secretive. Now, after I read that, and this is the other letter that came to try to make it look legitimate. They put logos and everything. This was a life lesson for me, because number one, I'm going to tell you just like it is. All of this, even though they use a real cashier's check with my name on it, it's a scam. Just like that letter is a scam, there are many people that will try to go to you with scams. Not just pertaining to trying to get some type of service, but even some type of artificial relationship. What do I mean? See, there are many people that come in, you think that they are genuine, they're real, they're sincere. But just like this letter, when you read the fine print, when you really pay attention to the clause, to the letter, but most importantly, when you discern it, you pick up on the scam. That's a couple things. I'm going to share it with you. Get this. Not only do they want me to um, lie, they also want me to what? 
They wanted me to send a photo. Get there. Let's write this down. Send photo of deposit. Send photo of a deposit. Okay. So in other words, they wanted me to give up something that I supposed to be what keeping secretive. That deposit was not supposed to be photoed. Why? Because they're showing my information, my checking account. That's not supposed to be public record. That's supposed to be private. That's one thing. The other thing was what? Don't tell nobody. They wanted me to not tell anybody. In other words, secret. Keep it a secret. Don't forget, they gave me the number, but they didn't tell me to call. They told me to text or email, which means a what? One-sided relationship. One-sided relationship. Hmm. But when you look at it real closely, even though they're using the logo of Walmart, as you can tell, it's a copy. It's not authentic. There are so many people that come in, even though you may think they're real. But remember this, the Bible even tells us that there are wolves in sheep clothing. So there are key things that you need to watch for when you deal with people who may come to you. And if you want to say it's too good to be true. Now, there are things that we must do. We must investigate. Because why? Because there are some people that want to have game. There are some people that had just like this. There was a hidden agenda. So the same principle that we use with this is the same principle that we use with people. Send a photo of deposit, which means there are people that are trying to take from you that's supposed to be something that's secretive. In other words, sometimes people will come to you and all they want is your body or your money. Or for you to be what? Enslaved of some sort. Just like I read earlier. They were telling me only go to Walmart parking lot. That's another thing. What? They're controlling. They're manipulative. They try to get right here in your head. The other thing is what? Shh. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. See, a genuine person has no problem what? Being public. But someone that has an ill motive, a hidden agenda, shh, don't tell nobody. And guess what they'll do also? They'll remove you from people that would, that would talk to you. That would let you know, you know what? That person ain't genuine. One more thing. One-sided relationship. In other words, don't call me, we'll call you. Only text. I'm telling you. There are scams everywhere. Scams in business, but also there are people that are trying to scam their way into your heart. So it is your responsibility to make sure, first of all, to be prayerful. And remember this, the devil will always try to bring an imitation before God reveals the real thing. So be mindful of those who may try to run game on you because the devil is slick. But also the devil will always try to come when you're vulnerable, when you have your guards down. That's why it is our responsibility to be prayed up all the time. Be prayed up and be praised up all the time because God will give you the discerning spirit when stuff come that's supposed to have your name on it and sometimes you think it's a blessing. No, but you need to read the fine print because God is trying to reveal to you that there's a scam because the devil trying to take from you so remember this, this information right here, just in case those who may know who this belongs to, just know that it's going to the proper authorities. But just like pertaining to this going to the proper authorities, you give fake people to the proper authority, God Almighty. And I guarantee you, you will not be swayed when the devil try to come with game. And always remember this, 
as you pray, as you seek God, as you trust God, and don't be discouraged when fake stuff come to you to make you think there are no such good, there are no such thing as a real thing. Remember this: the devil trying to even use you to get to right here because he wants you to even get discouraged when the real thing possibly come your way, and for you to throw that away, think that it's garbage or think that it's fake. Uh -uh. No, you continue to seek God. And like I said, ask God to give you that spirit of discernment, but also you use wisdom. You seek wise counsel. And when the real thing come or the real person come, as you seek God and as you seek wise counsel, God going to reveal that this is the real thing. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we coming to you right now, God. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness. We coming to you right now, God. God, we ask you, Lord, to help us, God, to be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove, God. God, we ask you, Lord, to help us, God, to not be swayed, God, by the devil's tricks or the games that the devil try to bring right now. God, we speak, God, that you help us, God, to be spiritually alert, God, spiritually on right now, God, for when fake people come, God, help us, God, to recognize them, God. God, help us, God, to seek your counsel right now, God. God, help us to look beyond the cashier's check, God, but read the fine print, God. And God, as we read the fine print, God, God, you would tell us, God, what is of you and what ain't of you right now. In the name of Jesus. And stand about everything you stand for. We bind every problem. We bind every confusion right now. In the name of Jesus. We bind everything that the devil tried to do in swaying God people away from you, God. God, we ask you that even touch those people, God, who may try to run game, who may try to be manipulative right now, God. God, touch their heart and give them that desire, God, to give up foolish games. Give up the childish playing games right now in the name of Jesus. Give up the trickery right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we speaking, God, even for those who are who may have dealt with that in the past right now, God, God, help them, God, to forgive the other person, but also, God, help them to forgive themselves right now, God, in the name of Jesus. God, help us, God, to use it as a teachable moment right now, God, in the name of Jesus, to not be fooled again right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we even ask you to help us, God, to not allow our heart to be hard right now because of bad relationships in the past or previous relationships in the past right now, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we speaking, God, that you will help us, God, to grow from this right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And we Thank you, Lord, for the testimony that's coming from this right now, God. And God, we thank you, Lord, for everything you've done right now, everything you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. I thank you for watching this video, and I pray that it ministers to you. Be blessed.